Hi babes and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shalithia Trinae and if you are new here, welcome. I hope to have you as a new subscriber, but if you are a returning subscriber, then hey girl, hey, welcome back. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first. I know that I look very crazy right now and this isn't my normal setup that you guys have seen as you can probably already tell, but um, I'm currently in Germany on a deployment right now and so this is what we have to work with. I just got back from the gym so I was like, let me just go ahead and record this video because the content does not stop. So yeah, I'm also recording on my phone and I'm having issues with hearing my sound unless my headphones are on. So I have to wear my headphones so that I can make sure that the microphone is picking me up when I'm speaking to you guys. So um, just a little disclaimer, that is why I look a little crazy right now. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get into this video because we are going to talk about how you can walk into your financial glow up in the beautiful year of 2024. <laughs> Glowing up financially in 2024 can be approached in several different steps, each tailored to enhance your financial health and ultimately allow you to become financially free. Gone are the days where we can just window shop and just splurge because life truly be life and sometimes. I mean, really, have you guys seen the price of groceries? Yeah, the need for a financial glow up is at an all-time high. I've always been the type to splurge on myself and I mean like I would buy myself a token of luxury in a heartbeat just to splurge a little and just to reward myself like a new purse, designer shades, some shoes, anything simply because I just wanted to. You know because sometimes I just wanted to treat myself to something nice. Don't get me wrong I still do that for myself but with inflation on the rise I don't do that as often as I used to. I've learned to save more and deciding to alter the frequency of when I would make those large expensive purchases without planning for them in advance was one of the greatest disciplines I could have ever learned because I learned that although gifting myself something nice spontaneously felt good it wasn't always the smartest decision that maybe just maybe I should budget these things in and spoil myself a little bit more comfortably without burning myself later on down the line you know it's very easy to spend recklessly you blow a bag on the latest drop or go out and all drinks are on me like it's very easy to do that but as I walk into this new era of me that's kind of focused on leveling up in every area of my life I soon realized that it's not always about how much money you have but how you manage it and having positive money management skills is one of the most proven and easiest ways of financially glowing up and embracing your financial freedom so today I'm gonna give you guys just a few steps of how I'm walking into my financial freedom and working to financially glow up in this beautiful year of 2024. So if you're ready to walk into your financial glow up season, keep watching. These are just the tips for you. So the first thing you'll need to do to walk comfortably in your financial glow up era is you want to set clear financial goals for yourself. Start by defining what a financial glow up really means to you. It could be paying off debt, saving a certain amount of money for a certain amount of time. Maybe it's investing in something or finding different ways to increase your income. You want to set a clear goal for yourself so you know exactly what you are focused on accomplishing. A common tip for making sure that your goals are solid is using the SMART method. And all it is is an acronym, S-M-A-R-T. And all it means is to just make sure that your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Don't worry, we're gonna get into it. So specific, knowing exactly what it is you want to accomplish. Measurable, making sure that you're able to track your progress as the time goes by. Achievable, making sure that you're not setting yourself up for failure, but that your goal is one that is actually attainable. Relevant, making sure that is relevant to the result that you're trying to get. And then time bound, so giving yourself a realistic deadline to ensure that you are using your time on this goal wisely and also that you give yourself enough time to actually accomplish this goal. This method, the SMART method, has been around for many years and it's pretty much applicable to a lot of different things. As long as each of those categories can apply to your goal, you know that you have a clear and solid foundation to achieving your financial glow up plan. 
All right, so for the next step, after the goal is set, next you want to create a budget. No matter what your goal is, in order to manage your money, you have to understand where your money is going. Start a list to track both your income and your expenses to create a budget that supports your financial goals. For example, when I'm creating my budget, I like to first gather all my statements, like my bank statements, credit card statements, uh, mortgage statements, bills, whatever it is that I have to pay. And from those statements, I write down the balances I owe, minimum payment amounts, the dates they are due, and the dates that the statement is pulled. And I write that information down under my list of expenses. Now, I'm going to share a pro tip. I like to do whenever I'm writing out my budget, I like to start writing out my fixed expenses first, the ones that never change, like my mortgage, certain utility bills, like internet, or my security system subscription, uh, insurance, these are things that go at the top of the list and are usually the most important one. Then I'll put the rest of my expenses and then I'll list out the sources of income I have and then subtract those expenses from the income. And here's the tip. With whatever is left over, I allocate it on paper, meaning I list out exactly where the excess money is going to avoid recklessly spending. So my savings, my maintenance appointments, going out for any entertainment, I now make sure that all of my personal spending is planned for. And if I just so happen to not use it, then guess what? That's more money saved and I'm putting myself ahead of the game. All right, so next you want to build an emergency fund. This was one of the debt snowball methods from Dave Ramsey's financial literacy course. And if you haven't checked it out already, please do. It's amazing and so very helpful. But one of his tips was to try to save at least three to six months of your living expenses to essentially act as a financial buffer to some of the things that could possibly happen in your life that is unexpected. So things like losing a job, facing some kind of medical emergency, or let's say your car messes up in your need of some kind of urgent repairs the inevitable right now i know that that amount of time seems a little bit extreme but the goal is to obviously save as much as you possibly can but just being a little bit more intentional about saving more than you usually would so that you can adequately prepare for if things like that should happen all right next you want to develop a plan to pay off any debt that you may owe but you want to focus on the high interest debt first so things like your credit card balances that's a big one when you tackle your high interest debts first or you use the debt snowball method that i mentioned earlier you make such a larger dent in paying off your debt than ever before and who doesn't want to pay off their debt nearly twice as fast and a lot more comfortably i guarantee it guys look it up research it give it a try it has worked for me and it's really worth looking into if you haven't done so already but remember financial success does not happen overnight consistency patience and your ability to adapt are key to not only achieving but also maintaining your financial glow up now babes if you're anything like me the ultimate capricorn then you love money and you know how to get it one of the most quickest ways of walking into your financial glow up era is finding ways to increase your income the opportunities are endless whether through getting a raise at work a promotion switching to a better paying job getting a side hustle these are only just a few of my tips of working to become financially free and walking into your financial glow up era but you get the point they work to increase your income. Now, many of you guys may have seen a video that I did a while back. It was titled Five Ways You Can Make Money at Home. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out. It should be linked right above, but it was some really good side hustles in that video. So be sure to give it a look. And my very last step for walking into your financial freedom is to review and adjust regularly. You guys, with all the changes that we face on a day-to-day -day basis, walking into financial freedom and planning for a financial glow up is an ongoing process. You'll need to regularly review your financial status and make sure that your goals are still applicable to your plan. There may be times that you will have to adjust your plan and that's okay, but whatever you do, don't stay stagnant or you just may miss the opportunities that may come your way. Remember, the work doesn't stop and neither should you. All right, babes, it has gotten extremely 
dark here. I had to cut on a light, but that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and find them useful for your financially free era. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's completely free to you and really does help to support my channel. As always, please leave your thoughts down below. And as always, be yourself, be you, be beautiful, and be untamed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.